Hi, I'm Cody Creelman. Welcome to Fendet. <laughs> do, I t- do I turn my mouth down like that all the time? Hey guys, how's it going? Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today we have a wonderful day with all my best friends here at Fenved. Good morning, fantastic team. How's everyone doing today? Today it's a sunny 26 degrees outside. And it is going to be another great day. We have a lot of good things in store. What do we have going on today at Fenvet? Carling's going to do two dentals. Dr. Cheryl's doing a half day because her husband surprised her. So she's going to be busy for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> I try not to make that sound creepy. Long <laughs> What else are you going to do this weekend? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go show them all your favorite spots in the Beltline? She's gonna come for drinks with me. Oh, that's so nice. At Major Tom. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm not bringing my children anyway. <laughs> you're not actually involved in their conversation. <laughs> no, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. I won't be coming. They're talking about. No, I'm not going. Yeah, like I won't take an Uber there or one of those scooters. Uh, and then you have an appointment that just says, bleeding, there's blood. <laughs> oh, stop it. No, you have to tell her that you have to tell the other story too. Okay. That story so, could take a whole episode. With the, with the That's so much like, I don't know if I can do that. Yes, you can do it. Good. No, no, no. The bleeding there's blood story <laughs> is like typically you have... The presenting complaint, and then you... I feel like I'm a broadcaster. Okay. <laughs> Do I have to hold this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And anyways, the point is that usually it's like, dog is here for coffee. And so then, <laughs> and so then I always lead with, like, if the complaint is the dog's here for coffee, and I go in, and I'm like, oh, like, I hear so-and-so's here for coffee. But then this one said the only thing that virtual team got for the appointment was bleeding, there's blood. And I was like, well, that's not a good start. And so I went in, and it was just a very weird vibe in there so I walked in and I was like I hear I hear there's blood tell me about that tell me about the blood and I was like that wasn't very smooth and the guy was just like oh the cat I know he's old I know he's not good and there's just this large cat there not bleeding there was no blood (laughs) and just went into hell he's like I know it's not good I was like I feel bad for you but I would like to know some more details he's like it's just generally not good (laughs) And I literally just turned to the dad and I started to go through diagnostics. He's like, you do whatever you need to do for this cat. And I was like, perfect, perfect, perfect. And that's all I know. There was no blood. There was no blood. <laughs> this is Bentley and he's one year old, I think. One year old schnauzer. We're just doing a neuter on him. Who are you braiding? Braiding, sir. gonna braid my hair. Yeah, I have a dental, so perfect. I want you to braid my hair. Not as good, like I can't get it as tight right here. No, I find the very I can usually start like here and get it to go. He was achieving a dream, and you missed it for braids. You got the IV in. First try. Well, first try on him. Hello, Bentley. Hello. 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 No, I didn't have time last night. Oh my goodness, I should have brought you some from home. I'm trying to bulk up. <laughs> it's been unsuccessful for the last 30 years of my life. <laughs> I'm going to have some steak tonight and some ribs, maybe. Maybe just one of them. And buttery mashed potatoes? Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Cheryl had two neuters this morning, and on one of them she did try a little bit of a different technique um, that will hopefully work for her in the future. Grandma, she tattooed herself with a needle and ink over a fire. Over a fire? When she was 16. Why? Because that's what the kids. That's what the kids did back then. Just like dot designs, flowers, lines. It was cool. Oh, sorry. She actually just passed away. Oh, I want to say four months ago. She was not 89, 90. She was back home in Croatia. I really have to 
give it up to those people, like some of the more um, active social media people, like I followed quite a bit. But I just don't know how they did it, honestly. I just don't have the time or mental capacity to, to do it, you know? Um, but now I feel like I really do. Because now it's just all fun, right? Like, I'm just doing something I like. I am gonna do the closure differently. Because I want to also see like what I'm doing and see if there's anything I notice about myself. Yeah, I feel like I'm famous or something. <laughs> If you want more followers, we're gonna get them for you. No, I don't want more followers. I'm amazed that I'm getting more followers. I don't make it to be an influencer. I literally make it because it's fun. <laughs> what, you don't believe me? No, he's knocking you. He's knocking me? He's mocking you. Don't mock me. <laughs> I'm helpful to you. So we're just gonna start this and try and include it all in one, like, suture pattern. Um, like sub Q and skin. It's a little squishy, but that's fine. It's hidden. And let's cut it, and then we're done. I was busy doing dentals, so I had a dental cleaning initially, so no extractions. The radiographs were chef's kiss. They're perfect. Uh, then we moved into another dental that had presented a few days ago for facial swelling. That was a presumptive facial abscess. The facial swelling had gone down, so responded well to the antibiotics. So these are getting removed because there's bony recession on x-ray and there's mobility in the mouth, so they need to go. It's painful when they're mobile and there's a risk of infection. Okay, now we're gonna remove this 108. Now, Wear PPE. <laughs> you take it to the chin or where does that Yeah, it hit me in the chin. And then I wonder why I have acne on my face. Are so you just splitting the three root tubes so I can get out each root individual? Now we're stretching the periodontal ligament, which is a very strong ligament that holds the tooth in place. So now there's just one more root that I need to finish getting out that I can still see. There's the tip of it that root that broke and this one's broken so you can tell when they come out like this was obviously broken and then this was a piece of it now i'm just going to smooth the bone out and then suture it first. and then we leave the incisors open they don't need to be closed 14 year olds usually expect you have the mouth extraction sometimes or some really bad teeth and that's kind of what this owner was quoted for like potentially having when it could the full mouth of extractions today so the fact that this baby gets to keep a lot of her teeth is going to be a very good surprise for you but the overall health of her mouth is not terrible given the amount of tartar that's here That's a rotten tooth. Very rotten. Oh, it's painful. So, like, I will be able Very to hot. just pull this out. The one root is going to come out super easy, and the other one's going to be a pain in the ass to get out. Because it's half the tooth is still healthy. The big thing to remember is that the most dental abscesses will respond to antibiotics, but as soon as the antibiotics stop, they will come back because if we're not getting rid of the source of the infection, which is the rotten tooth, they will keep continuing to get infected and swollen. So that's why it's really important to have proper dental care so that these things don't become emergencies. There. Coolio. Done. So we're just chilling here now. Bree's gonna have some lunch with Maisie, which is pretty much the norm for them. Um, and we're gonna move into an afternoon full of appointments. Do you have anything to say, Maze? Nope, it's nap time. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I liked the mic.